Hello, welcome back. It's Sienna, if you didn't already know, which most of you probably don't because I got a mere 165 subscribers, which is actually a lot, like, for me, because I'm no one. So there is something new about me since the last time I have been on a video. And that new thing is I have received something very special in the mail. I have received my bachelor's degree in art. Still need to frame it, but this is super exciting, guys. I graduated in May. I finally got my degree in the mail. Now I have some actual tangible credentials for the art content that I am providing for the 165 of you. Speaking of that, let's get that number up, shall we? I am now graduated college. I am working for myself as a pet portrait artist, but I'm also very, very, very in love with YouTube. I've actually been posting on YouTube for about 10 years as a musician, actually, on a different channel. You can't find that here. But I would really love to like grow a small YouTube channel. I already have a small TikTok following, which this video is about, and I just really want to be able to make art like for my business and also make art for YouTube and for TikTok and just do it on all platforms that I possibly can. So like the best way to be able to support me is to just like hit that subscribe button right here. This is just a picture of it. It's actually, you know, you know how it works. Thank you guys so much who have already subscribed to me. That's awesome. You're awesome. Anyway, let's just get into the video now. <laughs> I'll just set this guy right here and I will, I promise I'll get a frame for it this weekend, but we're just gonna, there it stands for now, on top of this painting of Buttercup. <laughs> anyway, this video is about how to become a successful artist on TikTok. I know a little bit about this because I have a very small TikTok following, as I said. I have about 15,000 followers, which is like more than I ever thought I would ever get. I remember when I first hit 1,000, I'm like, guys, this is it. I hit the big time. But I do have a lot of tips on how to become a more successful artist on TikTok, and I just want to share those with you guys. So this first one that I'm going to tell you guys is the most cheesiest one but it is also the most important just be passionate about the art you're making make sure you really love what you're making make sure you're proud of it only post it if you really really love it just overall make sure you're really happy with the content you're putting out so now that we have that one out of the way I'm gonna get into the more technical things behind becoming a more successful TikTok artist and the number one thing I want to talk to you guys about is lighting because I believe lighting is probably the most important technical part of TikToks because it kind of gives your audience a good first impression of you. If someone's scrolling and they see an art video that has poor lighting, it's very dim, they're just gonna scroll past it. They don't wanna watch that. So what I recommend for having the best lighting is something like this. I'm in a room right now. I don't have any professional lighting on. I don't have any artificial lighting. Literally, my light is a window right behind the camera right here. Natural light from a window is the best lighting that you can have, and make sure to take advantage of that whenever you can. The next tip I have is to be consistent. I hear a lot of people saying to try to post once a day, but I also hear some people say that's too often. I hear some people even saying post multiple times a day. You just have to figure out what works best for you. I usually post, I don't know if I do this correctly, probably not, but I typically post like four times in one day and then I'll take like one or two days off and then I'll post like four times another day because that just kind of aligns with which days I'm wearing makeup and which days I'm not. <laughs> but I could be better at that. I could be more consistent posting once a day instead of just doing spurts of a bunch of videos and then a break and then spurts of a bunch of videos and then a break. Be consistent, that's something I can be better at. So when I say be consistent, I'm talking about your posting schedule and I'm also talking about just in general, make sure everything is relating to art. But another tip I have is to post a variety of content. All under the art umbrella, but when I say variety, I mean, for example, sometimes you post just a progress video of a painting you're making. Or sometimes you might just wanna post something where art isn't even in your TikTok, but you're talking about art or you're making a joke about art. Make sure you're paying attention to trends and sounds that are very popular. If you see a sound that a lot of people are using, Listen to it and really try to figure out if there's a way for you to connect it to art. And usually you can do that with almost anything. Another big piece of advice is to make sure that you are in your TikToks. A lot of the time you just kind of want to point your phone to your canvas or your piece of paper and just make the art. 
But a lot of time, if you put yourself in the video at the very beginning or maybe near the end or maybe sprinkle yourself in here or there in between clips, it really makes your audience get to know you as a person. They're like, oh, this is the artist. People want to know the artist and it makes them feel more connected to you and it makes them feel like they have more of a personal relationship with you and it makes them want to follow you and support you more. Now going off of that, make sure you have something unique to offer. You know, people are scrolling through the For You page, they'll see art all the time. Normally for me, if I see someone making a beautiful piece of art, I see it, I'm like, wow, that's beautiful. Maybe it'll inspire me. Usually I'll leave a like, but I don't really feel very compelled to go over to their page, look at what else they're doing and follow them. I just kind of like see their art and I'm like, that's cool and I kind of move on. But if you have something to offer, something that makes you different from other art TikTokers, that will make your audience be like, oh, I want to follow this person, I want to know more about them, and I want to see what else they have to offer, content-wise. Find something that makes people want to be invested in your story. So what's something about you that's different? Are you a professional artist that has a lot of tips and advice to give about growing an art business? Or are you a beginner artist who wants to kind of show your journey growing and becoming a better artist. Try to find your story, something meaningful to you that other people can connect with or that other people want to follow you along with. Another big piece of advice I have is to interact with your supporters. Connect with the people who are commenting on your videos, reply back to them. Actually also go out and comment on other artists' videos. Try to find a little community of people that you all follow each other and you all support each other. And once you do have a small audience of people who are really invested in supporting you or really invested in following your journey, these people are probably very interested in connecting with you on other platforms. So encourage your audience to follow you on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever other platforms you use. Usually people who are invested in you want to follow you on multiple platforms. A really great way that I have found to connect with my audience is through Patreon because a lot of people say I really want to support you and I really want to buy your art but it's very expensive and I just can't afford that right now. My art is expensive. My hand-painted portraits are very expensive. They take me eight to ten hours a piece to make. They cost a lot of supplies. I do gotta pay off my bachelor's degree. So now I'm like how can I provide personalized art to my supporters without having them pay a hundred bucks for a painting? I have my Patreon. People can join for one dollar and people who join for one dollar get unlimited downloadable coloring pages that I have drawn and I have designed myself. So they have access to my art while also supporting me, which is a really fun way for all of us to kind of make the same things together. We can all download our coloring pages, we can all color them, we can all share them with each other. It's a really fun way to kind of connect our community, but I also have like higher tiers where you can get like stickers. I send my Patreon members personalized handwritten thank you notes in the mail. It's just a really great way for the artist to kind of connect with their supporters, give them artwork without having them pay a lot of money for it, if that makes sense. If anybody else is interested in joining my Patreon, I know this is like a really big plug now, I didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, this is the last I'll talk about it. I do some contests there, here and there, lots of fun stuff. Uh, link will be in the description and I will shut up about that now. So those are the tips and advice I have for people who are looking to become successful TikTok artists. I hope these tips helped you. Please let me know if you have any other specific questions. Leave them in the comments and I will for sure respond or make another video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm talking a lot. I hate long outros, so I'm just gonna say, all right, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>